Today on Trisha, the truth comes out. On a previous episode of Trisha. I just don't approve my daughter's dating or marrying outside their race. Casey hated the fact that her girls were dating black men. Are you racist? No. No. No, I'm not. Today, they're all back. Casey spent an entire day getting to know her daughter's boyfriends. Oh, that's my toe. But this family's problems are not just skin deep. And I am so through. This guy is not being faithful to my daughter. She's yeah. calling him, telling him to leave me. Yeah. And yeah. she likes tall men. Yeah. Yeah. Has she ever been out with any of your partners? She thinks I have. Did you not sleep Hell with yeah. Hell no, when I told you I never slept with her. A mother and a daughter at war. Wait a minute, what Move out my way. Shelly says it's time for her daughter to dump her boyfriend, Terrell. What do you think of him? I think he's a low life. He needs a job. He needs to man up. Is it true, Terrell, there's another woman carrying your baby as we speak? She might be pregnant, but she ain't sure. She don't know who the baby is. What family secret has infuriated Megan? Shelly's been a liar her whole life. Why should I believe any of the lies she's telling now? The outrageous lie detector results. Have you solicited girls for sex on Facebook? The polygraph determined that Terrell. Today on Trisha. you on some of our most memorable guests now recently we met a mother named Casey Casey appeared on an episode entitled family race war I'm devastated my girls are dating black men now on that show Casey explained to us why she didn't want her two daughters Ashley and Cynthia falling in love with and having children with black men take a look at her controversial appearance Last time Casey was here, she had plenty to say about her daughters dating black men. I am not a racist. I just don't approve my daughters dating or marrying outside their race. Girl, I was not raised that way, and I was raised that you stay within your own race. When I look at them, it's not a pretty sight. My girls are beautiful, and I want to see them with white, attractive men. I think black people are different. The way they live, the way they act, the way they talk. My daughter Ashley even tries to dress like a black. She wears the do-rag, she wears the long shorts. She even tries talking like a black. When Cynthia called me and told me she was pregnant, it made me totally sick to my stomach. I feel like my daughters have forgot the way I raised them and I do not appreciate the way they live. Mixed breeds are not in my family and now we have a black baby on the way. I can, you know, be out and about and see a, a black and white couple. Mm -hmm. And, and it's not even pretty. And uh, I just would have never thought my daughters would do this. Are you racist? No. No. No, I'm not. And it's not just blacks. It's, I wouldn't want them with, no, I would not want them with Jamaicans. Puerto not, Ricans. No. 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 Chinese. No. 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 Casey denied being a racist, but her daughters and their fiancés vehemently disagreed. We don't even have a relationship anymore. We don't talk anymore. It's we nothing. Are. She never just hugs me. Do you find it even hard to look at your mom? Are you happy to see her? I am happy to see mom, but it does hurt. Do you think Casey's racist? Yes, I, I, I believe so. What makes you feel like you're too good to date a black man? You know what, daughter? I don't person. even need to answer up to you. I want, I you're breaking this family but... apart. Now, I try to challenge some of Casey's preconceived notions about her daughter's interracial relationships, and things took an interesting turn when I made Casey an offer she couldn't refuse. Take a look at this. When Casey first sat down with me, she was overcome with emotion. <laughs> Are you worried that because I'm black, oh, you, no. don't, you don't want to tell me how you... <laughs> it's hard to accept the the culture baby coming into the family because there's not one black person in my family. Do you think any black men are good looking? No. It's not the color I'm talking oh. about. And it's the culture. I have met so many black people on this show uh, and in my job, and they're all different. There are black people all over the world. There is no black culture. In the end, Casey agreed to my suggestion that some quality time with her future son-in-laws might help heal this family. If we offered for you to spend a whole day 
and a night with these two young men to get to know them, is that something you would want to do? I, I would be agreeable to do that with them. Okay, well, I never extend an invitation I don't honour. So Casey is back today, and so are Ashley, her boyfriend John, Cynthia and her boyfriend James, and here's what we did. We had Casey, we had John and James spend an entire day together. And to make sure they had some up-close and personal bonding time, first we sent them for ballroom dancing lessons, and then <laughs> to a cooking class. Now, both of these activities would require teamwork, some patience and understanding. So, uh, how do you think Casey did? Let's check it out. Let's have a look. When Casey and her two future sons-in-law, John and James, arrived at the Arthur Murray Dance Studio of Greenwich, they were completely in shock. I'm nervous with dancing with these guys. Neither of these guys have danced before. A little nerve-wracking, a uh, little out of my element here. Never really even talked to her on the phone. And now we're like up close and personal, you know? <laughs> kind of nervous, never been that close to her like that. So it'll be a little awkward. John. Oh, that's my toe. We are not in the boxing team. We're not yet, but we're freaking wrestling. At my first, toes. things were a bit rough between Casey and John. Aside from the discomfort, there seemed to be a struggle over who was going to lead. Start off with your left foot, okay? No, let me lead. No, start off with your left foot, come to me, take smaller steps. A nervous James was up yeah. next. Oh, there you go. And away. Nice, keep going. Good, I can get the shoulders going. <laughs> You're too serious, James. Things got smoother on the dance floor, and Casey's perspective of the two men seemed a little brighter. We had fun, and that's what it was all about. You know, having fun and enjoying each other. On the surface, things seemed to be going quite well, and they were looking forward to their next activity as a group. Later that day, the group went to culinary works in hopes of coming to an even better understanding of one another. Welcome to my kitchen. Nice to see all of you. All right, let's get started. Who's ambitious here wants to get in there with their hands? James? Uh, has your name on it? She might not eat a drink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, this is gonna make you uncomfortable. No, I think she's doing great. Not having to stand here and work by you. <laughs> hey, easy with the knife, boy. Seems like there's some tension rising. So oh, moving on, we're good boy. for now. The whole time when he was even cutting up the pineapple in my head, I'm like, man, if she's probably just thinking that that was a watermelon. I know everything seemed like it's fine, but I think she's just putting on an act. John seems to be taking a few stabs at me, and I'm not for sure where that's coming from, you know? I don't know if he's just kind of uh, intimidated by me. Tensions mounted as issues kept piling up, and things finally came to a head. You know what, John? I am, you know what? I am so through with you. I am through with you. I think we were starting to get to the bottom of it and it got too real. She can just stay away from me. I don't want to have anything to do with her. I'm through with him. And he deserved every drop in that glass he just got. Yeah. Maybe she's trying to wash some of the black off him. <laughs> Wow, well, that was quite explosive. So uh, we invited Casey and her family back. And up next, we'll hear what Casey has to say about her day with her daughter's men. Stay tuned. <laughs> next. I don't think John's doing Ashley right. And it's not because he's black. I see too much of him cutting my daughter to a T. He's disrespectful to her. He lies. He's lied about me. Later. Why were you calling me, John? Uh, Let's she, tell him. She, she all excited now. She's yeah. calling him, telling him to leave me. Yeah. And yeah. she likes tall men. Yeah. Yeah. Accusations fly. I never slept with her. Today on Trisha. Before the break, we saw what happened when we invited Casey, a mom who downright disapproved of interracial relationships, to spend the entire day getting to know her daughter's black boyfriend, 
John and James. Well, Casey is here to tell us what made her so angry, enough to throw a glass of water in John's face. Let's bring out Casey. Welcome back, Casey. Thank you for having me back. You're welcome. Have a seat. Have a seat. What I want to know is what happened after the last show, last time you were here? Um, not a whole lot happened. Uh, I didn't get to see Cynthia and her family again right. because they live in Colorado. And But um, how was Ashley at the airport? How were Ashley and John? Because there seemed to be some tensions oh, on well, the Oh, well, when show. we left for the airport, it was ugly. I mean, I didn't talk to Ashley the entire trip. Did she say anything to you? She did. She did uh, voice a few opinions and, and, and some really mean things toward me, but that was just the immaturity of Ashley, what I think. What sort of things was she saying to you? Uh, she was just aggravated, like what I had came out and said, you mm. know, the changes that I felt that she had been going through. So things were still a little taut. She you... was she was upset with me, even though I had let her know I was going to, you know, tell you how I felt, yeah. the changes. So. But I think once that I got to talking with you and it came out on national TV and she knew that, she was just really offended. Why? I don't know. There's nothing that she hadn't heard before. Right. I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want to come back <clears throat> to that water throw. And let, let's check it out. I want to see it again and then have you explain what went on. So you were really... Whoa! I know. What was that about? I have never in my life... Uh, given anyone else my drink like that. Um, I it's wish y'all... What, what, well, what happened? John had made a comment to me prior to that. Uh, it was a false statement uh, accusing me of some stuff I didn't do. He said that I had um, contacted my daughter's high school girlfriend right. and said that I uh, had her to call and get his Verizon account and check phone numbers for Ashley that he had been cheating on her. And I said, I, I was just devastated because I would never stoop that low to call up her girlfriend. I wouldn't even know how to contact her. I was livid. I, I was just torn, you know, because that's not the first time he's done this to me. And I don't know if John was making that up. I don't know if Ashley told her girlfriend to tell John that. I mean, yeah. it's just, he said, she said, but yeah. when it got back to me it's that I said that, it was wrong. I would never stoop that low. So, so what was it like spending the whole day with James and John? Well, you know, the first half when we went dancing, it was good. You know, yeah. you know we had a really good time. Mm. And then the second part, when we went to the, the kitchen, cooking? the chef, you know, that was fun. You know, John made a few stabs at me and, you know, I'm like not... Like what? Like... Just... Just mouthing, just John. I have learned so much just the time we've been here that you brought us here with them, you know, like this is the most time we've ever spent together. And what have you learned about John? Let's be BS. I mean, from lies. John, from lies. John. Like he do, do you think he's good for, you, for your daughter? I really? don't. Honestly, I don't. let's I, I think it's a. I think it's a train wreck. I think it's a toxic relationship. Do, do you think he's faithful to her? Let me put it out there. No. I don't. What makes you say I, that? I, I don't. Just from things Ashley tells me, and Ashley does talk to me. Cynthia and Ashley, or Cynthia and James. Yeah, let's uh, talk like, about them. Because mm -hmm. they've got a baby now. They have, and he's beautiful. <laughs> he's oh, but he's not white. I know. And he's the oh. So is that how's their relationship going? They've got that beautiful baby. Cynthia and James, they are doing great. And I have seen James interact with her other children that she has and the baby, and I think they're gonna be good. So do you think he is the right partner for I her? I think he is. Yeah. <laughs> now so you said before, I mean you seem happy mm -hmm. for, for James and Cynthia. Mm -hmm. Coming back to John and Ashley, you seem to have a whole lot of worries going on. What, what is it that you're hearing from Ashley that upsetting you? Well, there's, there's personal things that I wouldn't address, but there's just 
there's just so much turmoil between the two of them. I mean, well, well, tell me what happens. Have you ever tried to get John on his own? Just you and John in a sit down, just you and him, and really find out. Yes, what's going actually, on? Um, at the hotel last night, John came over to my room, and Cynthia and I have adjoining rooms. Yeah. And John came over, and he was just talking BS about Ashley. And I'm sitting there listening to it, and Cynthia came in, and she started quizzing John about all this stuff that Ashley's told us, and. He swore up and down on the Bible and his parents that he, he hadn't said any of that stuff. And but, but just tell me, I mean, is, is Ashley okay with you sitting, being on no. your own with John? Uh, Ashley actually had been outside the door, and I had the door fastened before one of the kids could go out. And she came in and cut loose and, and well, told... Well, she didn't like you, just you and John being on your own together? Well, I don't necessarily think it was that. I think it was that she heard us talking, and I was learning new things, and Cynthia was telling me stuff, and... And, and, and quizzing John, and she went ballistic, and it's and she wow. always, Ashley always, and I don't know why, but she always takes it out on I me. I think deeper than the race thing going on here. There's, a, there's, there's been, yes. Yeah. You know, and my girls brought me here because they felt that I was racist, and I came to prove that I wasn't. You know. Any of you parents out there, if you had children, you would have your own preferences. Some of you may want your child with, you know, a, a millionaire or someone that's going to look up to your, 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 your son, your daughter, and treat them with respect but and love them and take care of them. But isn't James doing that? James and Cynthia are doing very well. But I, you don't think John is? I don't think John's doing Ashley right. And it's not because he's black. I, I see too much of him cutting my daughter to a T. He's disrespectful to her. He lies. He's lied about me. And Ashley knows it. It's, it's, it's just not right. Okay, well, I think it's time to bring out John and James and uh, hear what they have to say first about mm -hmm. spending the day together with you. So please welcome John and James. <laughs> Next. He called me the day before the show and I said, John, why are you calling me? And I said, Ashley's going to find out. <laughs> no. Why were you calling me, John? Uh, Let's she, tell him. She, she all excited now. Later. She's yeah. calling him, telling him to leave me. Yeah. And yeah. she likes tall men. Yeah. Accusations fly. I never suffered that. Today on Trisha. Last time Casey was here, she had plenty to say about her daughters dating black men. I am not a racist. I just don't approve my daughters dating or marrying outside their race. I think black people are different. The way they live, the way they act, the way they talk. When Cynthia called me and told me she was pregnant, it made me totally sick to my stomach. Mixed breeds are not in my family, and now we have a black baby on the way. So, I want to come back to <clears throat> that water throw. You were really, whoa. Do, hey, do you think he's good for, you, for your daughter? I really? don't, Honestly, I don't. Let's I, I, think it's a, I think it's a train wreck. Cynthia and James, I think they're gonna so do you think he is the right partner for her? I think he is. Well, I think it's time to bring out John and James and uh, hear what they have to say first about mm -hmm. spending the day together with you. So please welcome John and James. Congratulations on the you. new baby. Gorgeous, cute, cute, cute. Right. And John, welcome back. Uh, what happened between you two? I mean, you seem there seems to be a bit of friction, to put it mildly. Oh yeah, it's quite a bit of friction. Yeah. Well, you mean the water throw? Yeah, and, and just what I'm hearing now. Basically, it's still the same. She really don't know me. She's just voicing her own opinion off of. If she hear one side of the story, that don't mean that story's true. I think the seat got too hot for her yesterday because the truth was coming out. That was her way of getting out of the situation. By throwing the water on mm -hmm. you? But you're talking about she, you mean Casey? Yes. You can't even look at her now. I mean, I can look at her, but... Do you like her? She already with me. What she thinks doesn't matter to me, because she don't take care of me. I mean, right. take care of myself. And, and James, how did you 
fun yesterday, the dancing um, and, and... It was a little out of my comfort zone, but yeah. like I said, once we got into it, it wasn't too bad. I uh, thought everything was going well. Um, tempers flared toward the end a little bit. Uh, I guess all the fun and everything started catching up toward the end and it just got a little bit real and some topics came out that just flared everybody up. Now, you, you saw your grandson mm -hmm. for the first time. James, how was that? Um, it was pretty good. Like I said, uh, it, it was like any <laughs> any uh, grandmother should treat their grandchild. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, I don't think race was an issue at that point because, like I said, you can't He's look just a total at him cutie. And, yeah. He's just a total heart <laughs> but, melter. Uh, so how are you and um, Cynthia getting on then? Great. Great. Cynthia so do, and I talk probably five to ten times a day. Do you favor mm -hmm. Cynthia or is it easier to get along with Cynthia than it is to get along with Ashley? I don't favor my daughters and I think they both would tell you that. I, I have more um, drama with Ashley. There's just there's just yeah, a lot. Mm, please. There's, the re the there's, reason being because she always have her nose in our household instead of in her own household. <laughs> and they, Wait, if that's the case, how do I have my nose in your household? I want to hear it, a, or, a truth. First of all, about a year ago, everybody I know started getting phone calls from an unidentified number that they didn't know. So they, and the person was asking questions about me. So it finally got back to me that from one of her friends that she went to Verizon and pulled my phone bill, got a printout of all the numbers on my phone bill, and, and gave her the numbers to call to see whether they're females or not. How do you know it was Casey? The friend verified it. That's why he got doused, because I said, why don't you go to Verizon and look at the camera? I was it, willing to take a polygraph she know test. It, she know the camera's not going to be showing nothing a year later. I asked it. Got the, real I asked too. the it show. Got, it, so is that the, is that the only thing that is between you, or? No, it's just, you know, pretty much she always telling her, you, you need to leave him. She don't even have a man. How's she going to get somebody some advice? <laughs> hidden that my daughter's fixing to find out and he called me the day before the show and I said John why are you calling me and I said Ashley's gonna find out no Ashley's gonna find out about this Ashley he called me like 10 times the day before we left why tell talking trash about Ashley and she was crazy and she's doing all this crap and what to do and I said you need to call her and then he would call me back again Ashley I Did never you do that no it wasn't 10 phone calls the, the deal was what she didn't say nothing about, why are you calling me? She was like, um, you know what? Ashley's just done so much to me that you don't know about, and that's why we have so much tension between the why two of us. Why would you call me and I start telling you that? Why were you calling me, John? Uh, Let's she, tell him. She, she all excited now. No, no tell wasn't acting nothing like this on the phone. She, we were best friends on the phone. Why did you call me, John? I forgot what the situation was, the reason why I called her, but we did talk, and... Let's take a break, take it down a couple of keys. When we come back, Casey's daughters, Ashley and Cynthia, get a chance to uh, talk to their mom again. Stay tuned. <laughs> Next. This guy is not being faithful to my daughter. She's yeah. calling him, telling him to leave me. Yeah. And yeah. she likes tall men. Yeah. Yeah. Later. Shelly says it's time for her daughter to dump her boyfriend, Terrell. What do you think of him? I think he's a low life. He needs a job. He needs to get man up. Is it true, Terrell, you, there's another woman carrying your baby as we speak? Yeah, she, she might be pregnant, but she ain't sure. She don't know what the baby is. You are the father. You're a fuck stage. Accusations fly. I never suck with her. Today on Trisha. Um, welcome back. Um, wow, things have changed. I mean, today we're finding out what happened to some of our, our most memorable guests after they left the show. Now, we've been talking to Casey, a mom who uh, at first refused to accept her daughter's interracial relationships with James and John, the men her daughters are in love with. I've invited Casey back so she could spend a whole day uh, getting to know James and John, but as we just heard, things are got heated and they've got heated all over again. Um, I, I just don't know what is going on between the two of you. Is, is somebody stirring the pot a bit here? Quite a bit. She always Look, stirring the pot. No, no, this guy is not being faithful to my daughter. Uh, what, what? She went, let me talk. 
And I'm not a temper person, but he does bring it out in me. Mm. My daughter went out of town one weekend, was going to be gone the whole weekend. When she got to her destination, it fell through, so she came back unexpectedly, didn't tell him. She follows him to a woman's house. She won't ta he won't take my daughter in to meet the woman. But, but hang on, before we get into all of that... Oh! So here's Ashley. John's partner, Ashley, what It wasn't even a woman's house that he was, sure he never even met that woman, so it, no. it was something else behind that whole entire story, what he was going to the house for. When That's you hear not something in a minute, you're not gonna be covering his First ass. First of all, you should've came and told me if he was calling you. You should've told me. I know you guys have making me look stupid. Trouble, Ashley, and I, I don't wanna quit. Why don't you tell me? I told mm. you, you shouldn't have called me. So, and then I she's saying this, but when me and him first got together, she's yeah. calling him, telling him to leave me. Yeah. Oh, I, and, I and, and, and well, he's her kind of guy, and yeah. she likes tall men. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly. 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 Just a minute. Just a minute. Exactly. What I want to do is to, here's Cynthia. Cynthia, welcome back. I'm sorry <laughs> it's like this. Hi, Cynthia. Here's Come Cynthia. have a sit. Seat next to your, your oh, congratulations on Thank your, you. your Thank gorgeous you. baby. Now, Thank everything you. seems to have gone a little crazy here now. And it's about to get crazier. Well, what is going on? I don't know what's going well, on. Well, you said, I'm just a minute, Ashley, Ashley. I hear them two talking about me. I don't know what's going on. I'm left in the dark. Everyone's always talking about me when I walk up. Hey, on. hey, just, just, just hold on a minute. There's, I said before that it's, this seems to be running a lot deeper between you two. You actually said your mom likes guys who are tall. Have you two got a history of stealing each other's men or what's going on? You know, you know, I swear to the big guy above, I have never told him I like tall men. She don't even go to church. How's she gonna swear? <laughs> okay. You know, y'all are getting some laughs out of human stuff. The, the story. He's a pathological let me, let me liar. Hang on, just, just, just. The, the I, true story is. Yeah, I, I, I just want to ask Casey something. Casey, I asked you there if there is some history because this seems to run a lot yeah. deeper than that. Yeah. So, and I, I think it's. Okay. Maybe you're using the fact mm -hmm. that she has a, a, a black partner. And There's I asked, no history with me and him, and there would never be no history. So have you ever been out with any of her boyfriends? No. Has she ever been out with any of your partners? She thinks oh. I have. She thinks I have. We were going to come and take a lie detector test, but so that come fell on, through because be she honest. didn't want to come so, on the show. She didn't want stuff let out. Okay, so what happened? She what thinks I hooked up with well, her. Okay. Let's hear. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Ashley has stayed in contact with a few of my ex-husbands. Can I ask her how many... How three. Many? She's stayed in contact no, with No, but three. how many times have you, have have you been... been okay, so she stayed in contact with them what? Uh, stepfathers. So what's the problem? Okay, there's one guy that I dated for two months. Okay. And I, I broke it off with him, and I uh, get a text from him, and he's sending me pictures of my daughter that she is sending him for money. And she slept with him, but didn't do anything. You know what? Get me on a test right now. I'll take a test right now. Did you not sleep Hell with yeah. Hell no, when I told you I'd never slept with her. Hey. Man, I even hey. like that. Hey. Hell yeah, I slept in the bed. I'll take a test. Put me on a test hey, right hey, now. Calm down, Ashley. What's going on? I'm tired of getting accused of stuff I never did. Wait until I'm you hear some Yeah, more. what else is there that I need to what know? Are you, are you stirring this up? Is it who's stirring it I don't up? know who's stirring it up. Every time I turn around, I hear these two talk about my back. Now I find out he's calling her. Ashley, and, and Ashley, is, listen. I don't did know Did you know that on. he's going home single and he tried to get the dress rehearsal cast calls phone numbers? Who? I heard you when I was getting Who? my makeup on. You yeah. told him you're going. You told her you're going home single. She's cute. Hold up. That's, that's I heard it. No, put me on the lie detector. What the hell? So, put me on the lie detector. Thank you. Put me oh, on the lie detector. Oh. All right. I look like a dang fool. So, so just a minute. Like a hey, Ashley, calm down. So, like, I, I want to come back to that original statement that this isn't just about the partners that you two pick. This goes a lot deeper. There's a lot of other... Am I right in saying that, Cynthia? It, it does go along deeper. Hint why I live in Colorado, not in Arkansas. <laughs> you want to be away from them? Less drama? Very much so. Ah, OK. And this is common of what goes on? I haven't been home in 10 years. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Woo! I come to New York to get filled in, you know, and it's... it's my sister... My sister is my best friend. I love her. I love her so much. Do you think John is the right partner for her? No. Why not? He beats her down. 
And when well, you beat no, somebody no, down, right now. you're supposed to pick them back up. Bro, you say bro. you overheard him talking to somebody. Mm -hmm. Who? Tell me. Tell um, me right now. Who? True. I, 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 I don't talk about this. Listen, if you do, I'm a, listen, I'm officially, I'm officially saying to you, do you want to come back and do a lie detector yes. test? Yes. Sorry? Yeah. 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 OK. How old, are, how old are you, Ashley? 28. I hear that all of this is happening, but really, is it any of your business? Isn't it her relationship? Yeah, yeah but hey. you know what? I don't know nothing that's going on. Yeah, but that's because you two must have a, okay. com a communication he thing. He don't tell me nothing. But he tells I can open up a can of worms about her. Hey, 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 hey. Just, don't do that. Just, just, just ignorant. <laughs> Grown woman acting ignorant like this. If you two have got problems, surely where both of you need to be talking, who you t need to be talking to, is each other or, or a counsellor, but when it goes out to the family, it just all blows up. Exactly. I never asked nobody for no phone number, nothing on, like that. But hang on, every family has mm. their problems. Oh. Every couple has their ups and uh, downs. problems. This whole thing started off seeming to be about race. <laughs> I think that this is about your business, you and your partner, and that's where it should remain. And like exactly. I said before, the minute you get on the phone or she gets on the phone or anyone outside gets the phone, you share that probably problem around, then gossip starts. This woman was calling me every day on, on my phone. Hey, you need to leave her. She's no good for you. She's going to try to use you. Um, you're a good man. You deserve better than her. And you're my type of guy. I love tall guys. Yeah. Put it on the test. Let's take the test. Take the test. Take the test. Oh, I would take, take the, the test. Oh, we will have take you back test. to take the I don't know about you, but I need a break, so yeah. we'll be right back. <laughs> Next. Shelly says it's time for her daughter to dump her boyfriend, Terrell. What do you think of him? I think he's a low life. He needs a job. He needs to get man up. Is it true, Terrell, you, there's another woman carrying your baby as we speak? She, she might be pregnant, but she ain't sure. She don't know who the baby is. Accusations fly. I never suffered that. Today on Trisha. <laughs> this is Megan. Now backstage, Megan. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, let me just tell you what this is about. Uh, that. Megan, that was Shelley. Megan. Okay. Uh, she's play shouting, I'm guessing, at her mother, Shelly, backstage. These two are at war over Megan's boyfriend, Terrell. Uh, you see, Shelly downright disapproves of Terrell and is convinced, is convinced he is cheating on Megan. But Megan doesn't believe it and says Shelly's out to ruin her relationship. In fact, Megan claims Shelly spent years keeping a twisted secret from her that ultimately turned her life up. So now Megan doesn't believe one word Shelly says. So let's hear Megan's story. I'm here today to prove to Shelly and Morgan that Terrell isn't cheating on me anymore. I know Terrell cheated on me. Three different girls have said they were pregnant with his baby. One on Facebook. Then I've had girls try and jump me, but that's all in the past. Terrell's promised me that he's been faithful since we had our son, and I want to believe him. Shelly's been a liar her whole life. Why should I believe any of the lies she's telling now? When Terrell passes this test, Shelly and Morgan need to stop all the gossip and stay out of our business. Well, here's the twisted secret. The secret is that Megan was raised believing Shelly was her sister, when in fact Shelly is her mother. <laughs> and here's what I'm guessing happened just then when you saw Megan walk off. She saw uh, her real sister in the audience here so uh, and this is this is Morgan okay so that's why she doesn't believe one word Shelley has to say now I should tell you that Terrell agreed to do uh, a lie detector test to prove his innocence to Megan's family while we're trying to uh, get Megan out here again let's let's please meet Shelley and find out what's going on please welcome Shelley <laughs> Hi, Shelly. 
have a seat. What, what happened just then? Like, I'm just saying, I just talked to Megan, said hello. She doesn't want to discuss the fact that I'm her biological mother. She feels that um, when we called the show, we called to discuss that Terrell was no good for her and she thinks he is and he's not. He cheats on her. Has he ever gotten any other girls pregnant? But to my knowledge, he has somebody pregnant now. Whoa! Can you explain to me what happened then? Why didn't you bring Megan up? Well, when I was thinking about not keeping Megan, um, my mom asked me if Megan could be her and her husband's love child. What, they could adopt her and pass her off as their own? Yes. And that's, that's what they did. So she was told that they that's were her mom and dad. That's what they wanted to do. How did she find out that you were her sister, not her mom? Everybody in the neighborhood we grew up in knew that I had carried Megan as a baby. And so it came back to her. She went and talked to my mom, and my mom told her the truth. Tell me about these fights that you have over Terrell. Do she, she call, she'll call and say, I need you to come pick me up. Why, does she need, why do you need to go and pick her up? Because, they because up? they're fighting. You think he's cheating and you tell her this and will she accept it? No, she doesn't even believe it on Facebook. People tell her on Facebook that he's cheating. Well, what do you think of him? I think he's a low life. He needs a job. He needs to get man up and get man skills and learn to take care of the woman and the family properly. So Megan is going to come out with Terrell and we'll start working out what exactly is going on. Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll meet Megan and Terrell and we'll get the results of Terrell's lie detector test. Back in a moment. <laughs> Next. Is it true, Terrell, you, there's another woman carrying your baby as we speak? Yeah, she, she might be pregnant, but I mean, she ain't sure. She don't know who the baby is. Did you have sex with this <laughs> Did you, you had sex hey. with this you are the cop. Get off my stage. Accusations fly. I never suffer. Girl. Today on Trisha. Welcome back. Welcome back. Today we're talking about family secrets and lies. Now. One of the things when it comes to lying, uh, Shelley is saying that uh, Megan's partner is lying to her if she says ahead. he's not cheating. Let's meet time. both of them. Please welcome Terrell and Megan. <laughs> so, Megan, do you think, let me ask you point blank, do you think Terrell is cheating on you? Nope. Is it true, Terrell, you, there's another woman carrying your baby as we speak? Yeah, she, she might be pregnant, but I mean, she ain't sure. She don't know who the baby is. Did you have sex with this <laughs> Did you, you had sex yeah. with this But you're saying you've been faithful since then? Yeah. He's taken a lie detector test. What happens if he fails? When he fails, I guess, huh? You sat down with our polygraph investigator, uh -huh. Tim Acosta. So let's uh, welcome our polygraph examiner, Tim Acosta. <laughs> go through this. We asked Terrell, since Megan has had the baby, have you solicited girls for sex on Facebook? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Terrell was not being truthful. <laughs> we asked when you didn't come home for the two nights, were you with another woman? Sherelle said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Terrell was being truthful. <laughs> Have you had sex with anyone other than Megan since June? You said no. The polygraph determined that Terrell was being truthful. Being that you did have a couple honest answers, which I applauded for you, maybe you this. just need to work a little harder on that man training. So you and Terrell are going to stick together and oh, uh, Shelly's going to take a bit of a back seat yeah. with the relationship? No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she really ain't. Whole audience agrees. No! We're going to yeah. take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Accusations fly. I never suffer, girl. Today on Trisha. I want to thank you for watching today and I want to thank our studio audience for being here today. But remember, there will be more truth tomorrow. Thank you.